happened. I had a relationship with God, with Christ when I met my husband. And yet I still struggled with trusting the love, trusting that it was mm. real, trusting that um, that I was finally safe. And I think yeah. that what it really came down to for me was recognizing that trusting God in this area of my life did not necessarily mean that I was trusting God to make him be faithful or trusting God to make him stay, but trusting God that even if it went the way of all of the previous relationships, that I would still be okay. Trusting God in the context of my relationship meant that I could handle tough conversations and I can handle being seen and handle being vulnerable. And I think sometimes we make trusting God come down to, I trust God to make this person be what I want them to be, or I trust God to make this situation be what I want it to be. But trusting God is about you. It's not about how it relates to the other people connected to you. They have a responsibility to trust God. But when you are trusting God with your heart, with with your time, with your money, your resources, that means, God, I'm going to extend myself. I'm going to open myself up to this moment, but I'm not going to do so with this desperate need for it to work out, but rather faith that no matter how it works out, that you've been with me up until now, you'll be with me then, and I can survive if it all goes to shreds or it becomes a monument for your glory. As long as you're with me, I can survive. And I think that that is one of the most incredible ways that a woman who is recovering Recovering from a breakup, recovering from divorce can really have peace when entering into a relationship with someone who seems like they have it all, but you're afraid to be disappointed in the ways you were before. 